Hi, my name is Daniela and today we're going to be unlocking your Ikigai and we're going to be discovering your purpose and your mission and we're going to share it with the world. My name is Daniela and today we're going to be talking about how to unlock your ikigai and find your purpose in the world. This is a comprehensive guide on finding exactly what is your purpose and how you can share it with the world. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about how to find your purpose and get clear headed about your vision. We're not just scratching the surface about Ikigai. We're going to dive deep into this concept of what exactly it is. It is a profound Japanese philosophy that unveils the secrets to finding our purpose and our mission on this earth. Ikigai is simply the secret to living a more purposeful and enjoyable life. A life where we are not controlled and suffering as much. A life where we can live in our peace, in our joy, and provide value to ourselves and to other people. The essence of Ikigai is actually by first defining exactly what it is. So what is Ikigai? Ikigai is the convergence of four elements. What you love, what you're good at, what the world needs, and what you can, and what you can get paid for. It's the sweet spot on where exactly you can find your passion. I wanted to talk about the essence of Ikigai and what it really means to us. It is the sweet spot where your purpose, your mission, your profession, and everything that you love intersects. So let's explore your passion. What do you wake up every single morning and get so excited for? Begin by reflecting on everything that makes you happy, smile, and love in this present moment. Dive deep into the activities that fill you with pure bliss and joy. That you simply do them for your own happiness and your own entertainment. Ikigai starts with finding out exactly what provides you with the most fulfillment in your life. The next thing you can do is identify your core beliefs and values. What is most important to you? What do you strive for? What do you care most about? Is it your happiness? Is it how you spend your time, how you spend your energy, who you're interacting with? So it is all about self-awareness, self-discovery. So recognize your talents, your skills, make a list about everything that you're good at. Because the only way you can bridge the gap between where you are and where you want to be is through your skills and through your learning and through connections with other people. What are you naturally good at? What do you care so much about? Where are your values? What do you want to achieve at the end of your life? If you had to fast forward to when you're 90 years old and you had to look back on your life, what will you regret not doing? What have you always wanted to what have you always wanted to try? What do you think would matter in the end? These skills are the building blocks to uncovering your ikigai. So reflect on your accomplishments. Reflect on your past accomplishments. Write down everything that you've accomplished, everything that you're proud about. Because the only way you can be proud about something is if 
you put in the work and it took you a long time it was a journey it was a process of struggles of highs and lows to eventually achieve your goal this is exactly where you can find the most fulfillment and pride and sense of happiness within yourself when you know you've pushed yourself to your limit each and every single day and you've accomplished something so big through the little steps the tiny little steps each day taking action and embarking on your journey what achievement brought you the most satisfaction in life what skills do you want to hone in on what matters to you so deeply in your core that you feel like you can't even live without for me it's art for me it's creation for me it's putting out movies and books and and writing and just finding any form of expressing myself through colors through textures through imagination i love these types of things align yourself with your core values constantly write them down constantly look at them put them on the back of your door put them on your phone put them on your wallpaper constantly remind yourself of your vision of your of your dream life and how you can be cultivating your dream life each and every single day so use your authenticity use your talents your skills all your interests to guide you and help you find your ikigai the next way you can find your ikigai is actually to contribute to the world what are you putting out there what do you want people to know about you what do you think matters most how can you find the most sense of satisfaction and provide the most impact to the people to the masses you have to ask yourself this question do you want to be a consumer and continue consuming or do you want to be a creator and create the life that you dream for? Design exactly what you want. How can your skills and passions contribute to your success? How can your skills provide value and solve problems and ease the suffering and pain of other people? This is an important and crucial step into finding your ikigai. The next thing you have to do is balance your professional fulfillment. Understand exactly where you want to go within your career. Reflect on your current challenges, your weaknesses, your strengths, where you are at right now in this present moment and where exactly do you want to be. How can your skills trans translate into a career? How can you take all your talents and everything that makes you happy and financially sustain yourself by doing something that you love and living in joy living in passion waking up every day and getting excited for what you have to do on your to-do list well, i want you to do a big reflection on your career and where you want it to go evaluate your current job satisfaction identify these aspects that resonate with finding your ikigai. I want you to gather all the external perspectives. I want you to build a community. I want you to ask people what they need. I want you to ask people what are they struggling with and how you can be of value, how you can help, how you can provide something of substance to another person. So gather insightful feedback, talk to a hundred strangers a day, get rejected a million times and keep getting back up. Seek feedback from the friends around you, from the people you don't like because the best teachers in life are the people you don't like and you don't get along with because they are there to teach you something, to expand your mind and seek feedback from your family from your friends from everyone because everyone has something to teach you even a toddler can teach you something you know what strengths and unique contributions do you need to add to the world what do you recognize and desire and like in other people so get mindful lock yourself in your room gain some clarity 
calm your thoughts. Breathe in and breathe out. Understand that the only moment you have right now is this exact moment to create, to build something, to not be a consumer, to not escape this world, but actually to be in it and to contribute, to create something of value. So in these moments of stillness, what are you constantly thinking about? What are the cycle of your thoughts? Analyze your thoughts, write it down. What do you constantly think about? What are your fears? What are your, your, um, what makes you happy? What makes you even get out of bed in the morning? These contemplative moments are so essential to finding your ikigai and your true fulfillment and passion in life. So draw information from your role models. Who do you admire? Who speaks up to you? Who makes you feel connected? Who makes you feel loved? Who makes you feel passionate? Who makes you feel like they embody something that you need to embody in your own life? So analyze those qualities and question what exactly do you appreciate about your role models? Draw inspiration from your own journey. Look, look how far you've come. Constantly remind yourself to zoom out, to get a bigger picture, to, to think deeper, to, to think about your 80-year-old self and constantly reconnect yourself with that woman. Embrace your experiments. Constantly be experimenting how you talk to people, how people are talking to you. Step out of your comfort zone because you'll never grow in your comfort zone because it's already what you know. You need to expand that, that boundary, that limit that you place on yourself. Expand yourself. And this is exactly where you can grow. And I encourage you to experiment with new activities, new hobbies, new people new locations, to leave your home country, to learn a new language, change your identity multiple times, to constantly evaluate and change your identity, to be a different person. I encourage you to build a community and grow the collective consciousness of everybody. So collaborate network and provide something of value collective efforts and shared passions can help you to find your ikigai so constantly be goal setting make smart goals understand realistically how you can achieve them break them up into smaller goals ask people how can you help how can you help them with their own goals Find people who share the same passions as you, who motivate you, who lift you up, who tell you you can do it actually. Because I believe in you. I knew that you had it within you. Break it down into deliberate actions, steps, and manageable chunks. Progress is the key to everything you can achieve in life. Progress, just one baby step at a time. Apply these steps and these tools in your life and I can assure you that you will find your ikigai. Thank you so much and if this resonated with you, please don't forget to subscribe and join me on my journey and hopefully we can connect in person and we can help and love each other. Thank you so much. Bye. Don't forget to share your thoughts and your comments because I'm so interested to know what you're thinking. Thank you so much. Bye.